Hi, I'm Mark Davies. In this video, we'll be discussing how you can analyze entire text with the COCA corpus at EnglishCorpora.org. Note that no other website allows you to analyze text using corpus data to the degree that you can do this at EnglishCorpora.org. There are other sites like LexTutor from Tom Cobb that has some great tools for analyzing text. For example, you can paste in an entire text and then see how the words compare to word lists in corpora like the B and C and COCA. But we believe that there are some very useful features with the analyze text function at COCA which can't be found anywhere else. You can input any text that you want, such as an article from an online newspaper or magazine, or a composition or essay that you yourself have written. For the purpose of this video, we're going to analyze this text from CNN from today, April 17, 2023, which deals with the Great Pacific garbage patch. This is a serious environmental problem where debris or trash from coastal areas has been collecting in huge patches or fields in the Pacific Ocean. To analyze the text, first copy the text from the online newspaper or magazine and then edit it a bit if you want in any text editor. To analyze the text function in COCA, click on this icon at the top of the page. Now just paste the text into the box and click Analyze Text. And we might briefly mention just a few helpful hints for using the Analyze Text function in COCA. You can easily edit your text. I could come in here, I could add some more text. I could remove some text if I want. And you can also save your text and then you could come back and reuse this at some time in the future. The next page allows you to see the percentage of words in three different frequency bands, which are based on word frequency in the entire COCA corpus. For example, the more words in the yellow band the more advanced the words are, or conversely, the less common they are in COCA overall. So a text with a lot of yellow words will potentially be more difficult for language learners. You can also see the keywords for three different frequency levels. Words that are low frequency in COCA medium frequency or high frequency words. And then within each of these three frequency bands, you can see how many times the word occurs in your text. In most cases, the best keywords for the text are found at the top of the low frequency and medium frequency lists. For example, in our article on the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, we have words like coastal, debris, patch, pollution, garbage, trash, plastic, ocean, and species. But the real power of the Analyze Text function and what sets it apart from any other resource 
is the way in which you can see very detailed information on any of the words in your text or in the keyword list. For example, we can click on any of the words in this text. We will, for example, click on ecosystem and then we see a wide range of information, including frequency information, definition, links to external resources like images, pronunciation, and videos, translation into more than a hundred languages, collocates, which are nearby words, or topics, which are words that occur anywhere in the text, synonyms, clusters of two, three, and four words, as well as concordance lines. And for pretty much any section or any word on this page, you can click to get even more detailed information, such as this page dealing with collocates for ecosystem, or this page which contains concordance lines for ecosystem. And again, you can click on any word in your text that you may not be familiar with, and then you'll get that same wide range of information, such as anemone, or habitat. And as mentioned, we can click on any of the keywords to get the same full range of information on the word. For example, we could click on debris or trash. For more information on what's available from the Word page, take a look at the video on Word Sketches. As you can see, the Analyze Text function in the COCA corpus is an extremely powerful tool. If you're learning or teaching English, you can work through even fairly difficult text easily by finding lots of corpus-based information on each of these words with just one click. A feature that is perhaps even more advanced is the ability to click on any phrase in your text and then find that phrase or related phrases in the one billion word COCA corpus. In order to access this feature, first click on Phrase. For example, if you're interested in the phrase thriving communities, just click on the words in that phrase to see examples of that phrase in COCA. Notice that as I click on those words, they appear over here on the right. Then I click Submit, and then at this point I'm searching the corpus, the COCA corpus, and I can see that phrase in COCA. Or, for example, the phrase, it was surprising to see. Again, I'll click on these words. Notice that they occur over here on the right. I click Submit, and then I can see that phrase in COCA. You can also click on Chart 
to see the frequency of a phrase in the different genres in coca to see, for example, if the phrase is informal or formal, or whether it occurs mainly in spoken or academic. So having selected chart, I could click, for example, on organic material. Again, it appears here at the right. And then because I've selected chart, I can see that this phrase occurs mainly in academic and magazines. But what makes these phrase-oriented searches even more powerful is the ability to modify a phrase from your text and then to find related phrases in COCA. For example, you might wonder what type of debris might there be in addition to plastic debris. Just click on those words. They occur here then on the right. Click on plastic and say, for example, I want to find all words with the same part of speech. And it knows that in this context, plastic is a noun. Then click to find those phrases in COCA. And we see that in addition to plastic debris, we have phrases like space debris, construction debris, storm debris, and so on. Or suppose that you're not really familiar with the word anemone, and you want to know what other animals, what other nouns occur in conjunction with anemone. Just click, for example, on the phrase crabs and anemones. Click on crabs, find words with the same part of speech, and, that we, and then we see that in coca, we have phrases like sponges, corals, urchins, and anemones. And as always, we can see those words and phrases in context. Or what do researchers do besides report things? Mm -hmm. Click on these three words, researchers revealed that, click on revealed, and when you click on part of speech, it changes to verb, and then we can see the related phrases in COCA. And if you want, you can get a little bit more complicated. For example, let's say we want to know what species can do in addition to surviving. We can click on species that survive. So we're only selecting some words from that phrase. And then we click on survive, change it to verb, and these are the related phrases in COCA. You can also find phrases with any form of a word in a phrase from your text. For example, select the phrase float in the oceans. As before, we can change oceans to noun, but then we can click on float and we can say, find me any form of that word. And now we get phrases like floating in the water, floating in the air, float in the air, and so on. Another example of finding any form of the word is, for example, the phrase invertebrate organisms. We can change invertebrate if we want to find all adjectives and then we click on organisms to find all forms of organism.
And again, these are the matching phrases from COCA. You can also find related phrases based on meaning. For example, click on organic material. What other words related to material can be used after organic? Click on material, click on synonyms, and we see that in, in COCA, in addition to organic material, it's actually a little bit more common to say organic matter. So depending on the context, both of those might be possible, or even organic substances. Or for example, what words related to debris occur after plastic? Click on plastic and debris, click on debris, find synonyms, and these are the related phrases in COCA. Plastic garbage, plastic trash, plastic waste, and so on. The ability to find related phrases can really help non-native speakers and writers. Sometimes you might wonder, okay, I can use this phrase, but are there other ways to express this that might sound even better, especially in a given genre like academic? With just a few clicks, you can find these related phrases in COCA. In summary, no other corpus and no other corpus-based resource allows you to analyze entire texts the way that you can with COCA. And all of this makes COCA extremely useful for language learners and teachers. In summary, no other corpus and no other corpus-based resource allows you to analyze entire texts the way that you can with COCA. And all of this makes COCA extremely useful for language learners and teachers.